Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to film and was blessed when I saw on my uh, YouTube feed the Anything But Books book tag. I watched this tag on the Rumi's Digest, a channel that if you haven't checked out, you should. So this tag is basically getting to know me outside of the obvious hobby that I have of reading books. There are seven questions and here we go. <laughs> so the first question, what is something that you own too many of besides books? I think the answer to that question currently is candles. So I have a wax warmer, which is basically something that heats wax up so you don't have to burn a wick in order to get scent in the air. So I have wax warmers and I have candles. So scented things of wax. <laughs> That's probably the thing I own too much of. I've been in the search for the perfect coffee scented candle, like black coffee, roasted beans, scent. That's what I've been in the search for and thus I have been on a bit of a candle buying street. Question number two is what is something that you do for fun besides reading a book? And what I really like to do, um, <laughs> my initial, <laughs> my initial reaction is smoking weed, but I will go for the <laughs> better option, which is I love camping and spending time outdoors. Um, I really only started camping when I started dating my current partner and it is because of him that I have come to a love for the outdoors. Specifically, uh, I like going camping in places where I'm allowed to bring my dog. In case you don't know, national parks are actually far from dog friendly for the most part. But if you go to national forests or national monuments, a lot of those places are dog friendly. and quite close to national parks. Number three is what is something special or important that's on your nightstand besides a book? And I think my glasses. I actually wear glasses, can't see without them. Um, and that's really all that's on my nightstand right now. Number four is what is something that you buy at a bookstore that isn't a book? This is a recent love of mine, but that will have to be bookmarks. I have been into collecting bookmarks. Hold on, let me grab another one. I have a couple of bookmarks. So I've got all of my book of the month bookmarks, obviously. Um, but I really love, you know, this bookmark I got from You and Me Books, which is the first uh, Asian American woman owned bookstore in New York City. I've got my Greenbone Saga bookmarks right here. One of my favorites is from Broman's Bookstore here in Los Angeles. It says Reading Rocks. It has a bunch of rocks on it. But then I also have this bookmark, which I got from Paquetto. This bookmark, which is a gift, also from Paquetto. I love these metal bookmarks. And then this bookmark, which is a really fun little guy that a friend got for me in Mexico. I haven't bought too many bookmarks from the bookstore. That is what I tend to veer towards when I am there, if I'm not uh, in the market for buying a book. So number five is what is a fun gift that you have received that isn't a book or a gift card for books? And I wanna keep this bookish, so my gift that I have received that I think was one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever gotten that is still bookish, is an embosser. So basically it is this tool that allows you to stamp your books and create this design on them on paper. Just think this is a really great way to one, add a personal touch to your library, especially if you're someone like me who loves to lend out their books. And I think it's just like a really great gift for any of your bookish friends. Number six, what is a YouTube channel that you watch that isn't related to books? So I am a YouTube fiend. So I will <laughs> recommend two channels I think that right now I've been really enjoying. The first channel is actually a playlist on YouTube music. It's like jazz harp. <laughs> so I've been listening to a lot of jazz harp when I'm reading at night and that's been a huge love of mine. And I think the other channel my favorite comfort channel to watch is Clancy Burke. She is 
a reporter for a news station in Cincinnati. For whatever reason, her relationship with her partner and her relationship with her job enamors me. I watch all of her videos. She is very different from me. Her life is very different from me. I initially started watching her because I used to work at sag which is the union that represents a lot of broadcast journalists. So I initially started watching her because she works the night shift or the morning shift. She gets up at like 2 a.m. and works until like 10 p.m. or something like that. So that's kind of what initially drew me into her because it was interesting to see as someone who worked with journalists and helping them to organize what the other side of that looks like. So that's a channel I love to watch. She's like my comfort channel and yeah she also reads books which I think is fun but that's not really her main focus. It's really just vlogging about her work week, her life as a journalist, etc. etc. So number seven is tagging five different book channels that I want to see do this tag. Number one is going to be my bestie, Kat, and the other couple of folks would probably be Jess Owens, Mina from Mina Reads, Alexandra Ong, and Daria from Full of Lit. I don't talk to a lot of these folks, but I would watch the crap out of these tags if they were to do it. That's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and sweet non-book book tag. If you are inclined to do this video, please tag me in that video so I can watch and get to know you. I hope you all are having a good day, a good week, a good month amongst these continually unprecedented times. I'm doing okay, I guess. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye.